And the pressure now is on Rishi Sunak, who has to decide whether he obeys convention or whether he goes, you're right, this is just another batshit crazy Liz Truss thing. Can I also link these two stories that we'll be talking about today? And, and people might not expect me to say that, and it is in a slightly sort of oblique way, but I think it is important. One of Truss's... The thing that Truss has started to extol and talk about all the time is something that has become more and more common on the mainstream kind of centre-right and within centre-right politics um, in recent years. It is this idea, which used to find more on the old sort of left of politics, this idea that there is conspiracy everywhere, that there is deep state, that there are forces, particularly in the mainstream media, we remember how often Truss attacked the so-called mainstream media and the BBC and elsewhere repeatedly during the election campaign, that there is a kind of left-wing cabal, an agenda that is always conspiring to undo what the people really want, that the mainstream media, all of these sort of things, they don't represent the public, basically that they're lying to you. Well, that is the agenda of brand. That is exactly the kind of forces that he taps into and has tapped into over the course of this weekend. And this is why mainstream politicians of every stripe have to be really careful about their language. And this this indulgence of these kind of conspiracy-minded ideas that have become more and more common in politics, and as I say, particularly common on the right of politics in recent years, are really, really dangerous because it legitimises them. When you've got someone like Liz Truss standing up, you know, who's prime minister of this country, she's foreign secretary of this country, she's trade secretary of this country, she's been in politics for a long time, basically saying that there are all of these forces within society that are constantly trying to conspire against me and our ideas and against the public and so on. It is a dangerous set of ideas. And although power, yeah, we always got to be uh, we've always got to have a lot of scrutiny about power and as journalists we've always got to make sure that we're scrutinising power properly and be slightly suspicious of power this idea constantly that conspiracy becoming such a central part of our politics and culture it's not only depressing it's dangerous Lewis it's called populism it's how it works you set up an elite who don't understand you and the people and whether it's Russell Brand saying the elite is the mainstream media but you know my lovely followers on YouTube the wellness guru people will all believe in me and follow me or whether it's Liz Truss saying it's the people who live in London townhouses or do podcasts or have dinner parties or you know the media the political elite whatever it's a way of saying you want to take away the institutions. You want to take away, if you like, the standard bearers and the gatekeepers of our institutions because you, the populist, just want to speak directly to the people. And of course that's a trick. We, we've, we've seen that time and time again. And you're right, if you're not kind of conscious of how it's working, how it's operating, then everyone starts checking themselves out for the conspiracy. The News Agents. This is a Global Player original podcast. 